No, I'm just gonna bring these up here. I forgot to hang the thing on the mirror too, damn it. So That's the sound the bunny rabbits make. Shit, he's coming for me, he's coming for me. Shit, 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 shit. Get in there, get in there. Go, go, go. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and this is The Long Drive. Now, this is one of those games, I tend to pick up a lot of games actually, that are really, 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 really early access. And, you know, you do get burned every once in a while, but for the most part, I generally end up with some winners. I This is how I ended up with, like, Subnautica and, uh, oh god, what? Jalopy I bought really early access. My Summer Car, which is a brilliant bloody game, but was an incredibly glitch just glitch ridden mess when it started but it was just so much fun so if you think of this as my summer car but a jalopy or meets jalopy and yeah it's i got it cheap i bought it a year ago i played an hour maybe if that and it was such a mess i didn't bother with it anymore but I, as i understand it it has gotten to a point where it's actually really interesting and fun to play so i have played a couple hours since and i gotta admit i've had a really good time with it so far so we're just basically going on an adventure now we are here in a post-apocalyptic landscape, which I assume is Australia. And we can randomly generate it. You never know what you're going to get. There's buildings, there's giant zombie rabbits, they're the bad guys. But like I said, we'll just we'll kind of wing it and you'll see as we go along. And hopefully we have a really good adventure and we have a good time. So for the random seed of the world, we are going to have... I'm looking at my phone keypad here. D. I. And it's... Oh, G and b and y okay so i used my phone to spell out digby and we are now on digby world and with that being said let's go for a drive let's see what kind of weird adventures we get up to yeah you get randomly given there's like quite a few cars in this game and you randomly get given one of them and it's all kind of beat up and basically your goal is to drive around well basically as far as you can now we get a sponge i'm going to want to bring that with me and that will hopefully make sense later is there anything ah I see what looks like BBs. No, rabbit check. Yeah, the zombie rabbits are effing horrible. They are like the only bad guy in this game, but they suck. They suck a lot. And the controls are incredibly sketchy. I'm not very good at them, but I don't think anybody on Earth actually is. Did I just see something on the stairs? I did. It's a hangy thingy. What can we get? It looks like an anime man. Yes, I'll take you. Thank you. I'm going to keep him in slot 2 for right now. We'll hang him off the mirror of our car. He can be our mascot. And as I so often do with mascots... Whoa, back down we go. I'll name him Fred. Okay, I want you to come with me because I'm going to want a sponge. Whoops. Uh, controls in this game are very, very weird. A lot of this game is really, really weird, but... That <laughs> That's fine. It's part of its appeal. I have no idea where my sponge went. I apparently sent it to space. Is okay, I thought I saw another one over here. Ah, yes, our car. What did we get? Alright, we got the... Da -da 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 -da. Open it up. I have no idea, it's a car. Okay, we don't have... We got... don't have a lot of oil. We'll open that up. Coolant, we're pretty close to full, that's fine. How are we on gas? Half a liter of gas. Yes, alright, gas is going to be the big issue here with us. Ah, there's my sponge. As we travel forth, we're going to be spending a lot of time trying to find gas. So I'm going to drop this into the trunk. Hopefully I have managed... Uh, like I said, I've played a couple hours of this recently just to try and get used to the idea. Okay, that's full of oil, so we're going to go fill our oil up. I know that was a thing we needed to do. No, I need to extend you to where I can see the oil tank. There we go. Now, oil is incredibly useful, so we're going to bring the oil with us as well. We should also have gas and water. Now, I saw... which one are you? You are water. Cool. So I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to take a drink first, because I am thirsty. Thirst is a thing in this game. I don't know how it works or how long it lasts, but... On the off chance, we're going to fill ourselves up good and proper. There we go. Nice and full of water. And then we will do the same to the radiator. Oops, if I can get it over there to the radiator. 
Come on, baby. There we go. Okay, we got full oil. Whoops. All right, there. Jesus. Ah, get in there. Nope. <laughs> I love this game. It's so massively weird. I like weird. If you know me, you know I love weird. So we'll shut that back. We'll shut that back. I don't think it makes a lick of difference in the end of the day, but on the off chance. Whoops, don't get that one stuck. Now, fill the petrol tank. Nope. I don't want to drink the petrol, thank you. I would like to fill the tank. Can I please look at the tank? Why am I not looking at the tank? You know what? I'll drop you, and hopefully you'll fall over. Can I kick it? There we go. Yeah, and that should make this a little bit easier. There we go. Yeah, gas is a huge thing. We are going to be constantly looking for gas. But that's fine. This is a game of, about exploring. I mean, the whole point is to go out and do stuff and see what you can find. Now, you do get given a rifle first, so we'll equip that. And reloading this rifle is a massive pain in the ass. But I think that's how it's done. So I'm going to put you... How do I put you in slot one? No, slot three. I want you in one. I have no idea how to do this. Okay, well, it's in slot three, apparently. I am sure there's a way to do this, like, accurately switch back and forth between things, but I'll be bugging if I know what it is. Oh, that can get shut. You I want off, because you look like, well, basically recycle crap. So I'm going to drop you. I see I've got a brand new one over here. And we'll pop this on. Yeah, you can mix and match parts, and it doesn't matter. They're not car specific, so I can have, like, a, a little tiny door on this thing. And you could turn your car into all kinds of weird. Okay, and we've got a brush, which is really good. All right, hold on. Let me shut this door. I know this is a driving game, and we haven't moved an inch yet. But bear with me. We will get going. Okay, overall condition of the car is pretty poor. All right, bumper's in the worst shape, so we'll fix the bumper first. I do want to try and get the car fixed up as we go along. And some of the things in this game you can interact with, like the sponge and the, well, the brush, but some things you can't. So we just clean some of the rust off this bad boy. And they are sort of destructible. You'll notice this brush will get beaten to crap here at some point. Now we'll clean the bumper off. We want to look pretty for our big road trip. Come on. Can I do it faster? There we go. How about you? Can I clean you off as well? I think I got enough brush left to do that. Ah, perfect. Now, I still got bristles, so let's go fix the... All right, front bumper's kind of piss poor. This thing's kind of piss poor. I don't want to be the poo mobile, so as soon as we find some paint, we'll repaint this thing. All right, that's down to there. We'll clean this off. Yeah, you use the brush to get the rust off to a certain point where it's just, well, I don't know if you've noticed the door, but it's like basically dirty. And then you can use the sponge to clean it the rest of the way. Come on. Fix my bumper, please. And the brush is ruined. Oops, no, I want to... <laughs> okay, let me put that down. Let me put this down. I forgot to unequip it first. Now we'll pick you up. And we'll mount you on the car. All right, perfect. Now, she's here. She's always here. I don't know who that is. I'm assuming it's, I don't know, maybe the dev's sister or something. But <laughs> All right, keep an ear off. What the hell? Okay, welcome to the wonderful world of procedural generation. Where the hell is the road? It's on the other side of this goddamn embankment is where it is. Well, all right, well, I guess we're driving that way then. All right, well, are we ready to set off on our trip? Do we want the weird octopus thing? Nope. Gold bar we can't really use. Yeah, see, like, some of this stuff is junk. This thing it says I can do. Oh, where can I attach it? What, what can I do with it? I have no idea. Okay, you know what? That's weird. I don't want it. Uh, yeah, that looks like about... Oh, hang on. We got paint. What color paint do we got? Looks like yellow. Uh, you know what? Yellow is a good color. I like yellow. Let's make Oliver. If you don't know who Oliver is, shame on you. <laughs> Am I out of paint yet? Nope, I'm getting there. Oh, that's because that bit's dirty. Hopefully I have enough paint to do the whole car. I do not know. I probably should have shut the door first so I don't get eaten by giant mutant rabbits. And boom. All right, perfect. Ah, oh, starting off better than I thought. Okay, we have now got... Whoops. Oliver. Perfect. 
All right, Oliver, are we ready to go out? Do we want to bring the girly mag? That's not the girly mag. There is a girly mag in here somewhere. Probably quite a few of them. Yeah, there are all kinds of just weird sort of random things in this game. But like I said, you'll see as we go along. Okay, e-brake is off. Ignition. All right, fuel light's on, but you know what? We're going to go. Let's see if we can't find some more gas. Now, this is not the direction I'm meant to take. I am supposed to go to the right. But unfortunately, some freaking numpty has put a gigantic hill here. Ah, there's the road. All right, bus stop. And we're off. Let's go see what we find. Oh, shit. I forgot to grab the binoculars. Crap. Okay, I'm gonna risk it. This may be the world's shortest road trip if I fuck this up, but... Yeah, you need the binoculars. The binoculars are lifesavers. You just gotta have them. I want my binoculars. Where the hell are they? Right there. Okay, you. Pick you up. Hello? Oh, F. That's the pickup key. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna bring these up here. I forgot to hang the thing on the mirror too, damn it. So... That's the sound the bunny rabbits make. Shit, he's coming for me. He's coming for me. Shit, 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 shit. Get in there, get in there. Go, go, go. Go, shit, you break off. No. Go, go, escape. Fucking hell. Okay, he died. Alright, stop. Look, look, breathe. Breathe, baby. Turn off the ignition. Okay, where the hell did my binoculars end up? They're in the back seat. Okay, so let's... Put our little dude here on the mirror. Oops. How do you rotate him? I'm trying to remember. I can't remember. Well, you know what? We'll do it this way. Hopefully it'll let me attach it this way. Close enough for now. Okay, I need to get my binoculars back. F and tab and four. Okay, well. That'll get your freaking heart started. You know what? He's close enough. All right, Fred, you ready? Oh, let's try this again. Oh yeah, turn off the brake, dude, you dumbass. Now we're gonna go off and look for, hopefully, a building with something useful in it. That's the key, anyway. But I mean, you can find all kinds of neat stuff. There's, um, I've heard rumors that there's like cargo ships. All right, do I really want to be doing 100 kilometers an hour? At the moment, yes. I just need to get my heart started again. So, yeah, speed is good. Let's get away from the damn zombie rabbits. Uh, I'm not seeing much of anything in the way. Oh, and you have to be careful because there's rocks in the road. And if you uh, get in a crash, I know you can damage your car. At least I think you can damage your car. I've not done it before. I've hit a few things. And I've had some actually pretty spectacular accidents. But hopefully this trip goes well. Oh, those rocks are not in the road. Oh, and you can run over the cacti as well, but you probably... I don't think you can hurt the car with the cacti. Is it? Nope. That's... Ah! Don't do that. Okay. Back on the road. Back on the road. Back on the road. No, oh, that looks like a building out there. So let's check it out. We'll get the bangy binoculars. Bounce them off the window a couple times. What in the hell is that? Can I get it focused? Um, does the road just end? This is... What in the hell? Okay, this is gonna be interesting. E break start. It looked like the road just went up and became a jump. And I tell you what, I've played a little bit of this. I've not seen that one before. Thank God we looked. That would have been a very unpleasant surprise. What the hell are we supposed to do to that rock? Ah, rock. Don't do that. We got a water tower. Uh, not water tower. Radio tower. But there's nothing in it. No little buildings. So no gas. I mean, ideally, I'd like to find a garage or a petrol station so I can actually get more petrol. I've actually found... Ah. Something drawn in there real quick. That's the bus stop. Okay, you can't do anything with the bus apart from look at it. It really does look cool. Is there anything in the bus stop? There... Alright, yeah. The less we think about that, the better. Goodbye. 
don't need a bendy bus. Name's Zombie Rabbit. Yeah, they're the only bad guy in the game, but I tell you what, they can get you really quick. They sneak up on you. Now, what in the hell is the story of the end of this road? Was it just like a weird rendering thing? Oh, okay, yeah, just the way the game rendered it in. That's not so bad. Oh shit, we're about to have an accident. Don't, no, 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 no. Ah, cool. I'm gonna say I did that on purpose, yes. I completely did that on purpose. That was not accidental, and I did not in any way, shape, manner, or form just slightly piss myself. Okay, it's getting dark here, and I'm not seeing anything, and we really don't have that much gas. Now, you can sleep in your car, or you can sleep in any of the beds. I mean, you can sleep, like, in the car seat and stuff. I actually like sleeping in my car better for some reason. Although, I do know from painful experience that the zombie rabbits can get you while you're in your car. You also have... I think it's... L? Yes, you can turn on your lights, too, and drive at night, but I don't really quite like it. Uh, so, okay, no, sun, it's either sunrise or sundown, I think it's sundown, they can get in your eyes and just absolutely blind you, and we can move the sunrises, we also have the radio, but I'm not going to mess with that on the off chance the YouTube gods decide all music is copywritten shit, alright, that was me not having control, there it is, okay, sorry about your eyes folks, I am doing my, ah, that did not help, that helps. And we're not on the road anymore. All right, I'll give it a little bit more. We'll see if we can find a place. Is that a house? Or are you a rock? I can't tell. It's again almost dark. You're a rock. Oh, I see a house up here. Okay. I think we'll pull in here and we'll have a sleep. And then tomorrow, we will look and see what we can find in it. Is it a house? Or is it a petrol station? We're going to get, it looks to be, a very small petrol station. Cool beans. Alright, I'm going to park it here. Hit the e-brake, thank you. I said e-brake. There we go. Turn off the ignition. We don't have the lights on. Good. Shut the door so that we are giant zombie mutant rabbit poof. As much as we can be. Let's take a nap. Ah. Lo, the sun has dawned on a bright new day. Alright, day, what you got in store for me? Oops, shut the door. Thank you. Now, I saw a bucket. Is there anything in here I can drink? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Yes, drink, please. Oh, I spilled it. Well, that's a thing you can do. <laughs> I don't need paint anymore, because, well, we've got Oliver. We like Oliver. What we need is brushes and sponges so we can clean Oliver up. Ah, perfect. So we have, oh no, we want to equip you. Are you equipped? Right, I saw some stuff that was rusty here. Was it the mirror? I think it was the mirror. All right, let's clean, the, oh, hey. I put your e-brake on, thank you. Um, car. Can we stop moving now? Hello? Thanks. Maybe I didn't, I, nope, I left the e-brake off. Okay, you know what? We're gonna drop, oh, that. Thank you. We're going to put the damn e-brake on because I'm an idiot. I don't want my car rolling away. There we go. Now let's try and clean the mirror. Oops. Okay. Like I said, the controls are a bit twitchy, but... Oh, it would help if I was on this side and I could actually see it was making a difference. Come on, we want to keep all of it clean here. Yes, the gripping, gripping mirror brushing segment of the episode. <laughs> I think this is the last thing I can actually clean up though, so. Come on, baby, get clean. Oh, maybe it is clean. Close enough. You know what? Done with you. Done with you. I need to explore. I need gas. Has anybody got any petrol, please? Right, that's got oh it's got gas thank you why it's in an oil can i don't know but not gonna argue with it 
I think five liters is the most I've ever managed to accrue before I got killed. That's a turd. I don't need that. Thank you very much. Getting hiding behind the um, thingies. Now this says I can use it. I don't know what it's for. Oops. No. Okay, drop you. Unequip you. Drop you. Alright, well, we found gas, which is the big one. I'd like to find a siphon. That would be nice. I've never been able to use one, because I've never been able to find one. Okay. Power's still on. That's good to know. Now, building one. Good call. We got gas. And we got to finish cleaning all of our off. Whoops. That was a stupid thing to do. I'm going to take my door off. Although I could drive around in a car with no doors. Can I actually attach you properly now? There we go. Perfect. So, engine started, e-brake off, and Digby is off. Now let's go see what the day has in store for us. Yeah, as far as I know, there's no hunger bar or anything in this. There's just the thirst. Which, if I hadn't been a freaking numpty and spilled the water, we could have taken care of right then. Oh well, it is what it is. I should probably drive at least a little bit economically. Yeah, I think the one time, the one good game I had, I actually got the fuel light off. Which is incredibly rare, I think, in this game. Which is, well, at least I've never managed it. But you know what? That's going to annoy the crap out of me now. Are those? Oh, that looks pretty rusty, too. Maybe I should have done that. Hopefully we can find a sponge in the next place and we can get Oliver looking all pretty. Yep, we got Fred and we got an Oliver. What do we got? Show me a building. This is a very weird landscape. Digby World was a... Or Digby was just a really weird seed. I think every seed I've had prior to this was just flat. This hilly thing is... I won't say it's off-putting. It is nice that the game actually does that and gives it that kind of variety. Hello, are you a... What are you? What are you? I saw something. Was it a house? Was it a rock? I don't know. That's why we brought the binoculars. It was... Ah, uh, yep, Charlie Brown, it was a rock. We break, Digby. Well, we'll carry on, sooner or later we're bound to find a building. <laughs> Poor Fred got all spun around this just then. Yeah, this is... I mean, I always made kind of in my head this place was Australia, but this actually feels a bit more like Arizona. Looks a little Grand Canyon-esque. Oh yeah, if you hit the right, uh, hit a bump the right way, you will launch yourself quite spectacularly. So how about, how about we don't crash? How about we just slow it down a little bit? Yep, road bending up ahead. I don't see anywhere. Oh, I, I never noticed this. All the time I played this, I never noticed the odometer down there. Oh, no, keep an eye on the steering wheel bit of the equation here. Oh, that's all. Let me slow down. I didn't notice the odometer actually keeps track of our journey for us. That's cool. I quite like that. Not seeing anything at all at the moment. Uh, yeah, it, you wouldn't think it was, especially in a game that's kind of like this weird, this glitchy, but it's kind of weirdly peaceful just driving, going on and on and on, with no idea what you're going to find next. Okay, I thought the road had a curve to it. It does. Now, one thing this car does not do well, it doesn't do physics. That looks like a very large rock. I suppose it actually is. It's halfway decent physics model. I mean, you can see us bumping along, but... Yeah, it's not a grippy car. If I turn this corner too fast, I will end up upside down on top of that rock and on fire. So I'm just going to take it easy. And it's also very twitchy under brakes. So we are going to be a little bit more cautious here this morning. I don't want to wreck Oliver on day two. I'd just be happy to survive day two if we're being honest. Yeah, whoop, shit. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Okay, stop aiming at the phone poles, Diggy, you freaking idiot. I'm not gonna get sweary till the freaking rabbit shows up again. Yeah, I'm thinking the sun visor needs to be brushed and sponged. Um, a building would be nice, game. I see plenty of rocks. Is it? No. Nope. Is it? Yes. That looks like it's a building. I apologize for the sudden breaking. Right, that 
Oh, and we've got a car. Ooh, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna scout ahead here a little bit. So what else is there? Oh no, it's even better, it's a trailer. Okay, we've got a building, we've got a trailer. What's up ahead? That's a rock, okay. Cool, we're gonna have a trailer. I've never had a trailer in this game. I've seen it done on other people's playthroughs, but I've not gotten to enjoy having a trailer yet. And this can only, only go well. Okay, you park, park the car. And did I just see it building out that way? Well, we'll get out, we'll check. Oh, where's my binocular button? That's my binocular button. And nope, that looks like a rock. Alright, well, no biggie. Alright, you, come here, I want a trailer. Ooh, a trailer I can fix up even. So, if I remember right... Hello? I have to just... Oh, and I have to actually hold F the whole time? Alright. I mean, you're trying to... Oh, okay, maybe it's too heavy. We may have to park the car over here. Ah! Can I do that? No. Okay, we'll come back with the car. We will have this trailer. We're not leaving without it. That's all there is to it. Oh, what do we got in here? Well, a lot of boxes that are in the way. And we've got a blue door. You can kind of tell what car belongs to... Oh, I see a sword. You can tell what kind of, like, what car belongs to what just by, like, the door handles and stuff. And none of this looks like it belongs to my car. Now, gas. No, we got oil. Crap. I don't need oil. Also oil. Uh, sponge! Yay! Okay. Hang on, hold that thought. Oh, I was gonna turn the lights on, but screw it. We are gonna go clean all of her. I should probably have checked for rabbits before I did this. Ah! Pretty. Now we'll clean this fender. I will have you shiny and new, Oliver. Why is that open? No. Okay, well, you know what? Yeah, hopefully you noticed when the rabbit came after me that freaking scream. You definitely do get some warning. Not a lot of warning, but you do get a little bit of warning. Alright, Oliver, you are... almost pretty. Come on. Tell me my sponge has got enough left in it to clean the door. Nope, it's dead. Crap. Alright, well. Oliver, you're almost shiny and new. What else do we got? I want to see the sword. Can I equip it? Uh, how do I equip? There we go. Can I swing it? No. Well, you know what? I like it. I'm gonna keep it. Ah, no. I really wish I knew how to make that go away. Can I just hit another button? Nope, that doesn't do it. Alright, well, never mind. I guess. I'm gonna leave it behind. It doesn't seem like it does much, so... Wait a minute. Wait, wait, what, what? No. What? Oh, I'm crouched, aren't I? What have I done? Change the camera view? How the hell did I do that? Ah, okay. I don't know what button that was, but... What did that do? I had it equipped. No. I had it picked up. Sorry, I'm trying to learn stuff. And then I hit a button, and it made a... Oh, is that like... Oh, it's just how hard you throw things. Okay, sorry, game. Magazine over there. Don't want it. Let's go see what's up here first, and then we'll go look in the water room. And then good. There's something up here. Oh, a bed. Whoa. We could actually sleep up here, which rabbit proof. But it's not dark yet. Okay, that's a music box. Don't need it. Can I see anything coming up? No. The world looks very far away. Oh, damn it. I didn't do all of his hood either. Okay, so if I pick this up and then... That, well, maybe that isn't how hard I throw it. You know what? Get out of my way. Out. Out of the way. Out of the way. I want to come in. A crappy oxygen tank. Water I can't work out how to drink from. Quite a bit of water, but again, water's not something we need. We have a very rusty side mirror, which I don't want either. Alright, well, not the greatest haul of all time, but the sponge was worth it. And we got the trailer! So now, let's see if we can work out how to get the trailer onto the car. Preferably before.
people to get eaten by rabbits. No. Okay, I'm gonna back up ever so delicately. I don't think I want to bump the trailer either. Okay, stop. Mission off. Get me out of this car. Okay, rabbit check. No bunnies. Nice. Now I can. Whoops. How does one attach it? Alright, pick up. Okay, apparently I need to be a little bit further away. Which we can fix. Whoops, what the hell have I done? I jumped in the back seat. Shit. No, I want to get out. Okay, now, pick you up, drag you over, and attach. We've got a trailer. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I've never had a trailer before. All right, e-brake off. Let's see how it handles with the trailer on it. Hold that thought. I need to adjust my mirror so I can actually see out back. That's better. All right, cool. Oh, I can see my ear. <laughs> well, on to the next adventure. Is my door shut? Kind of. Whoa. Okay, you can definitely tell you're hauling something. I will say that much. Is that a building I see down there? That looks like a house. Okay. You know what? We have binoculars. We can check. It is a house. It's off the road, though, but that's okay. We are going to go park at the house and hopefully find something good before dark. Should we go overland at it? Nah, I think we'll be alright. We should, we'll stick to the road for a little bit here, just because I know I can get over to it if I have to. Yeah, you'll find a lot of things that aren't actually sometimes even anywhere. No, shit. Ah, Jesus Christ. Okay, that was hard stopping. Yeah, driving distracted. Bad call. Anyway, yes, you can find things that are, like, way out in the desert. And, I don't know, you could probably drive, like, that way for 100 miles and, until you ran out of gas. Speaking of gas, I suppose we could do a fuel check and see how we're making out. What is that now? Why is something shiny out there? No. I want to find the shiny thing. Where did the shiny thing go? Was it an actual thing? Just the sun glowing off or something. Oh, it was that, I think. Yeah, that was it. I don't know what it is, but... I also don't know if I want to bother driving all that far to find out. Looks like it may or may not be on side of the road, so... Yeah, we'll have to give it a look. Maybe. You know ah, shit. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, we're at a petrol station. One problem at a time, Digby, one problem at a time. And... Oh, that's done. Oh my god, I see a motorcycle. Holy crap. Ah. Well, you know what? I hate to do it, but we're going to have to go take a peek at that tomorrow. Because I've never seen one of those actually in the game, and I wonder if it works. But, ah, oh, so many things to do. Yes, we'll look at that in the next episode, because, quite frankly, it's been about half an hour. And I don't want to get eaten by rabbits. And it's getting dark, and it seems like a good place to end it. But, yeah, so this is The Long Drive. Like I said, it's just kind of a weird adventure game, but it's a hell of a lot of fun to play. And I thank you all for stopping by, and I hope you're enjoying it. And I hope to see you for the next one.